Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to boost your eBay slow sales or stagnant sales, has to, how to increase it and give a little boost to your basically sl slow sales on eBay. So here we are. I've I've logged into my sellers hub. Now as you can see I have 72 items here. 72 item listed. And out of the 72 we'll find out how many watches there are. So as you can see I mainly sell on you know trainers and sneakers and um, variety of stuff really so we're going to go through how to improve our eBay sales and the fact one thing you have to remember always in mind it's um, it doesn't matter how many watches you have the point is if they're not buying it it's not worth having watches you could have hundred you could have 10 20 30 whatever amount of watches on an item but if this item is not selling then what is the point having watches so you have to think you know I have a, an extra amount I have large amount of watches but how comes are still not selling this item so you have to think carefully why aren't anybody sort of buying this item but they're watching it so basically um, maybe you have to reconsider the pricing which is you overprice the item and everyone's waiting for you to drop the price so the item sells right so that could be the case so sometime you have to slightly drop the price in order to achieve the sale so I'm gonna show you in here a few examples of few things I do to trigger it to sell more. Obviously I use to promote my listing, that's one. Secondly on the watches side of things, I often, if I see this item with watches on, I sort of reduce it a bit. That way I achieve a quick sales. Okay, so we are going to go into, let's take an example here. Let's zoom into one, right? So we have a, a pair of trainers here called Nike uh, Court Force, okay? A size 7 we have here. And if we slowly move forward this way, okay, so we can do this here, right? I priced that £18.95. Okay, I have 96 view on this item three watches right so if I'm thinking that 1895 is a good price and got three watches and I think I paid six quid for that pair of shoe pair of trainer so it's not worth me to you know reduce a bit I can afford to reduce a bit but it's not going to be worth it for me so I'll have to stick with that price and now as another one here so let's let's do this and see out of 72 listings here we are like 72 we'll find out how many watches and how many listings okay so if we go down there and we go to watches right and we go to here we go down here to search Right, and there we are. I've, there's 23 watches on all of my items, right? Okay, so we have an item that now we have a pair of Nike, as I showed you before, that has three watches. We have another pair of Horachi with one. There's another Mike, uh, Nike Air Force trainer. With two watches, I have one with four watches, I have one with another with five watches. Right, and one now here is a Sony Cube 
Now, Sony Q, what is this? Okay, uh, a radio. Now, I priced that at £12.99 and I have five watches. Now, that's a, a vintage one there. So, the chance of that selling will be higher because it's, it's a vintage a vintage radio and somebody will buy it. Uh, so, I, I don't think I would do anything with this. Right. If we go down a bit, slightly down, let's pull it up a bit. Right. Now, we, it's very interesting here. Look. A pair of Nike. Air Max Premium Trainer, silver with the uh, yellowish, yeah, silver and yellow, uh, and that has got seven watches. And let's let's get a bigger picture of this. Let's let's show you a bigger picture of this one. Here we are. Right, that pair has got seven watches. Now I've already reduced the price. I put it. I think I put it at forty-five quid. And it, was, it wasn't selling, so I dropped to slowly to 37.85. Now, with seven watches, you would have thought that pair of shoes would have gone by now. So I'm making this video on the 4th of November 2018. And this listing has been there about two weeks, just over two weeks. Now, I'm thinking why is it taking that long obviously it's generating a lot of interest as you can see it's generating a lot of interest but um, it's not selling so now I can physically literally I can reduce the price a bit on this one because uh, the price I paid uh, I think roughly about 10 quid so I can afford to reduce a bit more to say something like 35 reduce by another two two and a half pounds onto this one and that would sell so I am considering to reducing this so I can afford to reduce it the price down here and also the next item and another pair of trainers here Converse here as you can see, let's go a bit here this pair here. Also, we got two views, uh, two watches with 65 views, and some of these watches you can really re reduce it. But some cases, I'll give you an example here. Right, look, look at this. This is kind of mind boggling here. We're going to look at this. A baseball cap, 59.15, you are a baseball cap, Cleveland Indians. Um, now, I put that up for 9.95, okay, so it's going for 9.95, okay, so here we are, 9.95, yeah. This uh, attracted 245 views, 200, sorry, 47 views, 247. And we have here uh, seven watches. Okay. Now, when it comes to things like this, when you're selling something like nine ninety five, there is not much room to maneuver. You see, you see what I'm coming from. You don't have much, uh, much moving space. Means you, you cannot reduce even lower because it's. When you pay something like three pounds to buy this uh, pair of, sorry, this uh, baseball cap, when you pay three quid to buy it, and you're selling at 9.95, right? So the profit margin is already low, and then I'll explain why is profit margin low because you paid three quid, it will cost you three pound thirty-eight first class Royal Mail to send it. If you're using harness, it will cost you about 330 If you're putting in a second class, £2.85. Then, if you think £3 to buy it, £3.38 to send it, so that's, that's £6.40. Uh, your bag, you know, your packaging bag cost, then you have the PayPal and eBay fees. Literally, you'll be left next to nothing. So the profit margin is so low, so there is no maneuvering space and thing like uh, when you're selling lower items at this sort of price. 
you can't really say why not to say uh, if, if you were, uh, really want to get down I guess from 995 you could drop another 40 50p to 950 I guess or 940 whatever but that's very very low to go down see what I mean so uh, when you have watches on that kind of price I always advise people to stick to that price don't maneuver but when you have something like this here look I'll give you another example of mine okay this pair of Nike Air Force 2 now I priced that at uh, let's go 39.95 okay now I paid I think 10 pound for it so 39.95 I have 39 views and two watches now that could come down literally by another four or five quid easily I can literally come down that to as 30 quid I still make hefty profit on that because I've put the price up so high you know it's going so I could literally do something there the higher the price you can always play with it but if you have watches on a you know, as I said, so do you people, 999, 10-pound watches. It's not much space to maneuver. So always bear in mind when you do that. So if you're comfortable of reducing the price and you want to get a quick sell, obviously you can go and reduce the price um, as you feel comfortable. But... Um, what I'm trying to say in this video is naturally it doesn't matter how many watches you have is the object is this the item not selling it does not make no difference having so many watches so is as a, as a eBay seller <coughs> thank you So here in this one, I'm going to sort of reduce the price of this item, so I'll show you this pair of, I'm going to reduce this pair, price on this pair, so because this pair attracted a lot of watches and views, so uh, I have three more days to go on the listing on this one till I renew the listing, if I see if I can sell it within the three days. So. What I'll do, I will click the main main page. So here I'm in the main page, okay. And as you can see, now what I'm going to do is go to revise of my items. Okay, so I'm going to revise the item. Okay, and what will what I will do now? Let's decide how much to reduce your buy so I get a quick sell on this item, okay? Right, so I think looking at the interest of this uh, this listing, the seven watches, so I don't need to tweak too much on the pricing side of things. All I'm going to do is drop the price, just say, so we have, I have here 37.85, I will see how we do with dropping it down to say if we drop it by two pound ninety from thirty seven eighty five to two pound if we drop it by price by two pound ninety that will give us thirty four uh thirty four ninety five right so we'll do that so we put down to thirty four ninety five Okay, so we have put down 34.95, so we dropped it by £2.90, and that uh, possibly would trigger somebody to buy it on that waiting, watching list. It makes sense a bit, because it's, they'd be thinking it's under 35 quid, and hopefully 
to to one of the watches it may be worth it to 35 95 because i know the fact this pair of trainers is even used trainers are selling at 60 60 70 pound because this is a quite well known pair of trainers this pair of trainers is a quite sought after pair of trainers so i'm going to stick this price and see what happens in a couple of days time or stick it for a week or two so we'll press the review and listing please there we go it's going round okay so we've done we've done it we've done our review change the price now we can have a look to the price we changed it to okay here we go here we go so in the main listing we have 34.95 right so what we need to do is just wait and play the game see if that pair of trainer sells right so if we go back a bit and we finish now okay back to our listing yeah so this is how you can improve your sales to rate here yeah, by reducing a bit well the best thing to consider is think if it's necessary for you to change the price if it's necessary then you change the price if you think the item will sell then you stick to hold on then if you do have a if you do if there's no issue with your storage or um financial financially you can hold on to an item then hold on i hope this uh, video has given you a bit of info if you like the videos or other information i provide please click like and subscribe and notification button so you get my next video once again i'd like to thank everybody for uh, great support in this channel and slowly this channel is get, getting momentum so once again please kindly click like uh, and go through all the other items I have, have a look around, all the other bits and pieces. But make sure please make comments and suggestions and click the like button. Thank you so much.